Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, September 13th, and it is the 24th Sunday of Ordinary Time. My name is Miss Lisa, and if you are at 9 o'clock Mass on Sundays, you might see me because I sing in the choir. So if I look familiar, that's probably why. I will be hopefully doing some of our children's Liturgy of the Word throughout the school year. So let's look into what is going on this week. In today's gospel, Jesus teaches us about saying, I'm sorry, and I forgive you. These are very hard words to say sometimes and to really mean them. Think about a time when someone did or said something that hurt you. What happened? How did you feel? After a while, do they come back to you and say, I'm sorry? What did you say then? Was it easy to forgive the person or was it a little bit harder to? Were you still feeling hurt and sad or mad about it? Now, think about a time when you maybe did something to make your friend or your family member feel upset or sad or angry. What happened? What did you do? How did you say that you were sorry? Were you forgiven then? Jesus tells us something very important about forgiving, forgiving others. Jesus says we always have to forgive. In fact, Jesus says we always have to forgive others and it's like being part of God's kingdom. Why? Well, it's because God always forgives and he wants us to do the same. Let's think about the gospel from today. It would make a great play or a picture story. Try to think about the parts of it. First, was there a man who owed a king a lot of money, but he couldn't pay him back? The king got angry and he wanted to punish the man. But the man got down on his knees and he begged the king to forgive him his debt. The king felt sorry for the man and said he didn't have to pay him back. How do you think the man felt when the king did this? How would you describe the king and what he did? This same man left the palace of the king feeling so happy that he didn't have to pay his debt. On the way out, he met a friend who owed him just a small amount of money, but his friend couldn't repay him. What do you think the man should have done? What do you think? Do you think he should have forgiven his debt? Probably a good idea. What did he do? Well, he didn't actually forgive his debt. He punished the man. So what do you think about this man and what he did? Do you think that he should have forgiven the man or what he actually did when he punished the man? And why do you think that? Well, someone did see what he had done and he reported him to the king. The king called him and said to him, I forgave you. You should have followed my example and forgiven your friends. The man was punished for what he owed. Not for what he owed, but for how he acted. Jesus told us this story to teach us a lesson. The lesson is that we should forgive others just as God always forgives us. Let us Pray for the courage to forgive others, even when it might be hard to do. We don't usually get a party when we say we are sorry. Saying sorry and asking for someone's forgiveness is part of being a follower of Jesus. Even though apologizing is the right thing to do, we still might have consequences like a timeout or having to do some extra chores. The consequences help us to learn from our bad choices 
and make better ones the next time we have to choose. Jesus tells the story to help his disciples learn about God's great love. God is like the father in this story. Even when we make mistakes, big or small, God is always there waiting for us to come home to him. We do this by saying sorry to those we hurt and asking for forgiveness from them and from God. We show God that we are sorry by praying and doing good works as we follow Jesus's example. We forgive others the same way God has forgiven us. So here are some conversation questions for you with your family later on this week or today. Why is it so hard to forgive sometimes? Is it how you're feeling? Is it what they did? What do you think? And are there any grudges between members of the family? And what must we do in order to let go of them? Did someone hurt your feelings and you haven't asked them to help you feel better yet? Or maybe you hurt someone's feelings. What can you do to make them feel better too? This week, as a family, say a prayer together each day for those who have hurt you and for those whom you may have hurt. Together, talk about ways that you can bring peace to those situations. If there are people in your lives who you have a hard time treating with kindness, you might resolve to say one nice thing to them every day. Little things such as saying good morning instead of ignoring someone. That can help change our attitude with others. With God's help through prayer, we can work on forgiving other people just as God always forgives us. I hope you all have a wonderful week. I will be praying for you and I will see you later. Bye everyone.